All right. So here is uh, Rosie O'Donnell. Now, this is from, I believe, yesterday's program. Rosie O'Donnell on Helen Thomas. She was asked where they should go, and she answered they should go home, to Poland, to Germany, to America. How could that be construed as hate speech? I don't know. I don't see any way that that could be called hate speech. Well, how do you construe it as hate speech, Shoshana? (laughs) I'm not saying it is hate speech, and I think the question is, is it hate speech? Because I think some people would think it is. What about, you know, people say, what if it's saying black people should go back to Africa? But except if black people are not occupying... Oh, oh, right? oh, 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 I think the difference here is that the day. Day. Oh, there you go. There you go. It gets worse. It gets much, much worse. Black you know people what this aren't is? occupied. They're, uh, black people aren't <laughs> occupied. If they don't like it, just go home. Go Can home. you imagine? Oh my God! The outcry. Um, excuse me. They're not occupying. The United Nations gave it to them. Your yeah, favorite period. organization. I don't, that's the only yeah. time they don't respect the United, the United Nations. Nations. Helen it Thomas gave it to them. Ha- then, hang on just a second. Then, after go- giving it to them, what is it, within six days, there was a war. We need to rerun the history of the Middle East. There's a, there's a war because the Arab world says no. They give back all of the land. They take it, I mean, almost all the way, I think almost all the way to Egypt, don't they? Or all the way to... You're talking about Israel. Yeah, uh, yeah. after the war, they took it. Yeah, they just take they, all they, of this land. They militarily took uh, just an almost enormous the entire amount. Middle East and then said, don't screw with us. Went back, gave it all gave back. Gave it all back. All of it. They did that in 48. It happened again in 56. Then it happened again in 68? 68, 68 or 67. 67. Yeah. So the Six Day War, I mean, they again and took was, everything. They took the Golan the Heights. Only, they took the Sinai Peninsula. And they that's took the last time. Everything. That, after that, they said, you oh, know what? We're keeping the West Bank We're and Gaza. keeping this because mm-hmm. you people don't get it. <laughs> yeah. And we're not, we're not stupid. We've given it back to you two times. <laughs> Enough. We're keeping it. Especially if you've ever been to the Golan Heights. It, yeah, Jeffy was with me. You look down, it is a position, it's absolutely indefensible. You're looking down on the Sea of Galilee. Jesus would have been riddled with rocket fire and bullets from the Palestinians. And that's where they kept uh, attacking them from. The yeah, exactly right. And they're like, forget you, man. You've got yeah. the upper position. We've yeah. done it twice now. Third time you lose. Occupy. Really, Rosie? Tell me about the occupation of California then, too. Well, and, can and she will. She will. Yeah, yeah. She will. will. Yeah. She will. Okay. And Helen Thomas's point was, go back. All Jews go back. You know, so there wasn't supposed to be any Israel, apparently. Here's the, here it is. We're occupying Native American land. The yeah. UN didn't even give us this land. All white people go home. All Hispanics mm-hmm. go home. Yeah, and it's, it's looking at her comments. I mean, even when pre, when President uh, President Ahmadinejad from Iran says, "Look, uh, I'm just when he says we're going to drive them into the sea," he always tries to qualify it as, "No, I'm just talking about the Zionist, the the country, the state that shouldn't exist." Helen Thomas is just saying all Jews. They, I don't care what the heck the mm-hmm. country's name. Mm-hmm. Just get the Jews out of there. Yeah, I okay. mean, in some ways, she's worse than him. So now here's how Rosie softens. Speech it. comes from the fact that. Uh, Jews left Poland and Germany because they were being killed. Correct. And so the and hate is inferred when she says, go back there. Oh, that is absurd. Well, well here's the other thing. <laughs> right after World War II, when Jews who did survive listen, listen, listen. the Holocaust went back, they were killed there, uh-huh. right? Yes. Not not millions, but mm-hmm. thousands of Jews were killed when they tried to go back mm-hmm. and reclaim their businesses and their homes. They were killed by, you know, local people in Poland and in Germany. So, you know, there's local that people. historical reference that is, in fact, true. But now I think in the year 2010, to you know, what she was saying was not go back to the ovens. Well, they're not there anymore. Correct. What yeah. she was saying was, you know, oh, the homeland the- was originally Palestinians. Oh, stop! I get it now. Anymore. The ovens have been dismantled. They're gone. They're gone so. Oh, see, I didn't know that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I didn't know that they. Yeah. Oh, geez. But that, I mean, the 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 idea that Jews are safe currently in Germany and Poland is not the <laughs> point. 
I no, mean, excuse it, me, yeah. and I believe Jews. Can you imagine what would happen to Europe if three million Jews moved back into Europe at this time period? Occupied by all the extremists. Uh, Europe <laughs> is riddled Whoa. with extreme Islam. Wow, and, and, and also economic troubles. Can you imagine Israelis now moving back? No, they're... Those ovens, fine. and they lost the blueprints, too. They don't know how to make those ovens again. You are. <laughs> I've got more to say on Rosie O'Donnell, and I've only got five seconds, so I'm going to hold my tongue till the end of the break. This 